Hey guys, I'm here at the beach. I'm going to do a quick video explaining what binaural audio is uh, because a lot of my videos, most of them, all of them almost, <laughs> in fact, will use binaural audio. And so I thought it'd be important to do a little quick 101 level video uh, describing what it is and, uh, and why it's different from other normal recordings. And so to explain binaural audio, uh, at least the recording technique, I have to kind of take a step back and first explain what mono is, what stereo is, the difference between mono and stereo recording. Mono uh, essentially means one track, it means you have one microphone and you're recording one track of audio. Stereo essentially means two tracks, usually two microphones and you have two uh, distinct audio tracks. You send one to the left ear and one to the right ear. And with mono, your playback device will take that one channel and send it equally at the same time to both the left and the right ear. Uh, for this ex example, we can assume that you're just using headphones. Now, if you're an audio expert out there, don't write me and say, oh, technically it's this and technically it's that. Yes, I know there are caveats to all of this. Um, I'm trying to give a very simple, straightforward approach to this. Uh, I don't need to go in depth, so don't write me. Anyway, um, our body is a stereo recording device. It's a stereo microphone, essentially. We have two ears. The two ears record, you know, two slightly different things. And, and so that's that. Now, when our brain hears a mono source, when, when a playback device sends audio, the same mono audio track, to our, to our ears simultaneously, uh, our brain interprets that, interprets that to be coming right down the middle. If their brain hears the exact same thing at the exact same time in both the left and the right ear, uh, it's going to interpret that to sounding right down the middle. So if you listen to a, a, mono, a mono voice recording or something, you're going to hear, uh, it's going to sound right like it's coming right down the middle. Now, all binaural audio is stereo, but not all stereo is binaural audio. And the reason why binaural is different from other stereo recordings uh, is frankly because of our ears uh, and our head. But for this, for this you know, video, we'll talk solely about our ears. When, when sound reaches our ears, it actually bounces off our ears many tiny different ways and then goes in our ear and then our brain interprets that information to help localize where the sound is coming from. Uh, this isn't very important because our brain wants to know whether the bear is growling from the right side of our body or the left side of our body. Uh, and when you have two regular microphones just sitting out in the air and you're recording a normal stereo recording, you don't have that. You don't have the shape of the ear right in front of the microphone to help help the sound bounce off and on and whatnot. So if you want to record a binaural audio recording, you need to utilize our ears, or at least the shape of our ears. Now there's, there's a rich way and then there's a poor way to do that. Uh, the rich way is to buy a $8,400 uh, dummy head that has two really nice microphones built in uh, into the ear locations. Uh, Neumann makes that. Uh, I did not want to spend $8,400, nor did I want to try to travel internationally with a dummy head stuck in my luggage. I think that might cause an international incident. Um, so I chose the, the not-so-rich way, and I have with me a Tascam DR05 recorder, kind of a field recorder. It has a stereo 1 8 inch jack, and that in that, I plug in these little mics right here. I can zoom in on them. You can see that they're kind of built like earbuds almost in a way. And each of these is a microphone and each of these goes into my ear. One into the left, one into the right. And they've actually labeled them so it's really nice. Um, but if you, if you tried to put them on the opposite way, it really wouldn't work. And so what you do is, let's see if I can do this and talk at the same time. Pardon the handling noise you're gonna hear. You take them. You put them in the ear, one at a time, and whereas before in this video, up to this point, you had been hearing solely a stereo recording. I had the two audio files sitting there. Now I've got the left one right there. And what you should slowly start to hear is the localization effect as I put them into my ears. And whereas before, I had just the stereo, Now you should be able to hear the sound of the waves 
in, in binaural audio. I have the both microphones into my ears. And if I turn my head, see if I can do this. See if I can talk and chew bubblegum at the same time. As I turn my head, the shape of my ears is gathering the sound and my brain is interpreting that to help provide the localization sound of the waves. And so what I've done is I've used these, I've used a regular pair, not so regular, but I've used a normal pair of stereo microphones and my ears to create the binaural audio effect. And with the binaural audio effect, what you're going to notice as if you start watching a lot of my videos is that the effect is much stronger when you have closer sounds. So if one of those boats out there started honking or beeping their horn, I don't think they beep their horn, I think they honk. If they blared their horn, maybe that's a better word, uh, it wouldn't be quite localized, it's just too far away. Um, but if you had something like a finger, snapping it very close to my ear, the farther away I get, the harder it is to tell where it's coming from. But I can go really close. I can even go behind me. And so the power of the binaural effect is through proximity. The closer you are to the microphones, the, the more powerful the effect will be. Uh, birds chirping in a tree 50 feet away, that probably won't be that strong of an effect. Uh, if you are waiting or walking through a group of crowd, a crowd of people at a festival, that'll be a pretty strong effect because you'll have people whizzing left by, left and right, and uh, you'll get that very close proximity every time a person walks by. Now, of course, all of this is going to be combined with video. Yeah, it's much easier to, for our brains to understand the localization that it's hearing when you have video, like this you know, beautiful place at the beach here. And every time I move, I have to make sure I move in conjunction with the, the GoPro here I'm recording with. And so the panning, the left and right panning of the sounds is built in based on how I move my head. I could even, you see this beautiful shot behind me. You should be able to hear the waves behind me now. Now they should be on the left. And you move towards the front. And so this is the binaural audio effect. It uses our ears to help provide small details in localization that our brain uh, interprets to understand where the sounds are coming from.